You don't want errors or blank cells showing up in your pivot table, so let's get rid of them. The way we can do this is quite simple really. There is an option, a pivot table option that deals with both of these things. So clicking anywhere in the pivot table, you will get a pivot table toolbar. Click on that analyze section, go over to options, and you can click that. Alternatively, you can right click and select pivot table options from the menu, exactly the same thing. Now you can see we have a on the layout and format tab, format box, the zero value for error values show, and for empty cells show. So we just tick both of those. So for empty, uh, empty cells, I'm going to show it as zero. And for errors, now you could like highlight these errors by literally typing the word error, for example, in there. So let's just do that. Click OK. You can see now we've got the word error appearing here. And if we go down to the bottom, you'll see we've got errors in the totals as well. Now, unfortunately, we just go back to this option. It's tempting. I always think to put a zero for an error. But if you do that, what happens is you get a zero come in there and that looks better. But if you notice grand total also zeros, it doesn't just ignore, it doesn't become the grand total of that any longer. So you would, I would have hoped, I would have loved to have seen that comes 972, given that that is the grand total of this row. And the only way I found out how to get around this is to go back to the source data and literally oh, correct for the error, which is far, far from ideal. So if you're going to do this and you're going to show errors as zeros, you need to make sure you're not showing any grand totals anywhere. And that can be quite appropriate sometimes anyway. You don't need to show grand totals. So we could just remove the grand totals on pivot table options as well. Totals and filters show remove the two totals and then we're we're not showing anything disingenuous we've not got totals on the bottom we could then manually total these if we wanted to and make it look like the rest of the pivot table hope you enjoyed the video let's hope you find it useful and if you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you soon